pretty lights Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake Cause I don't fucking Yo, what's going on guys? We're playing some more NHL 17 and we got some good news. EA released another NHL 17 update and that is what we're going to be going over with you guys here today. We're going to go over the patch notes they released. First off, we're playing some ESHL if you didn't notice, but added 11 new goal celebrations. That's just what I needed was some more goal celebrations. Uh, they fixed the goalie getting stuck in a butterfly, and by that, if you guys play club, you know what I mean, where your goalie would just sit there in a position. The only way you could get unstuck is, I think you press, was it Y? Y, or you tried, it was A or Y, it's one or the other. It was A last year, Y this year, but you get stuck in that position, kind of frustrating. So they fixed that. They fixed various crashes in the game. I'll be the judge of that. I've seen a lot of people complaining about how their game crashes all the time. I don't always have a lot of problems, but I've seen other people, so we'll see You know how that worked out. Uh, they updated the user save animations on wraparounds, so hopefully we don't get wrapped as easily. I don't know. I'd still love to see a hug the post update feature. That'd be great. I uh, Don't get me started on it. Next topic, please. I, I can go for days about not being able to hug the post. They added new jerseys to the NHL, AHL, other leagues like that. Some of the jerseys at the NHL, they added the LA Kings alternate jersey, the Flyers alternate jersey, and they added the Jets Heritage Classic. I'll try to put the uh, notes down below in the description for you guys or the link to it so you guys can see all the jerseys, all the other notes as well. I tried to sum it up to most of the main ones. Uh, they added new logos for the ESHL customization. We got new drop-in features where you can play private unranked games that allow you to invite your friends. I guess the way it sounds, you can invite friends from up to six players on your party screen. They also have some sort of private matchmaking ID in EASHL that allows you to choose the club size you want to match up with from four to six. I'm kind of curious to see how that works out because you could already match club size. I don't know if it's supposed to be like you have four and they have six and you can search that. We'll have to find out because right now I ain't played any club with it yet. But are you ready for this one, EASHL players? You're going to like this one, I promise. They fixed, this is right, ready for this? They fixed the banners, props, flags, and all that yahoo that gets in the way when you're in a defensive zone on your own team and you got a zoomed out camera. You guys know what I'm talking about. That big old magnet prop, everything. That was, man, that was annoying. I'm glad they fixed that. All right, so let's move on to some of the HUT updates. We have a big problem, all right? <laughs> This wasn't in the notes, and there's a reason they didn't put it in the notes. They didn't want they didn't want us to, you know, see them come out and publicly say it because then they'd have to listen to us all complain. But we're gonna do it anyway. I was on the auction house today, right? And I was like make an offer, and I looked and it looked empty, like something was missing. And I'll be darned if these little pecker heads took out the last price sold of items so you can't look at it period anymore they wasn't in the search when you search your inbox and try to sell it they didn't add it there they took it away so i'm assuming these guys didn't want it in the game in the first place and it just took them three months to take it out and realize it was there but i don't understand why they had to get rid of it i i don't know i like it i like having to be able to see how much cards are worth so i don't screw myself but i guess that's what they want to see happen i don't know it's frustrating i'm sure i'm not the only one thinking this way how about something more positive um we got, we got nothing. There was nothing else really major updated in HUT. Oh, but they did add some shiny new card animation things in Draft Champions. I've seen they make it like a pack opening thing now where they shake when you go through them. And they did that little, um, what do you call that? I don't even know. It like highlights the card when you click on it from the bottom to the top. Just a little flash thing, I guess. I don't know. They added that too. Oh, yeah. They added the, um, I seen on there, they had some goalie fix patch or whatever. I'm assuming this is for every game mode where they... You know, the goalie would quit hugging the post too early and they'd come off the post and they'd get sniped. Now, you fellas that are probably in Division 1 or exploited this, you probably know what I'm talking about. But everyone else, sorry, but I'm not explaining what I'm talking about because I consider it a glitch goal in my opinion. And I don't promote garbage like that. So, next topic, please. Uh, franchise mode. Franchise mode. They fix multiple arena capacities. And get this. Get this, I'm a big EASHL guy if you haven't been able to tell, so I could rant for days about it. But they fixed the issue, this is franchise mode, where there were no captains being assigned in franchise mode. Um, hello, how about you uh, fix that in EA Sports Hockey League? Thanks, bye. Um, on to be a pro. Uh, they fixed some issue where a user would keep getting the doctor's approval to play pop-up each time they return to the bench that makes uh zero sense to me but that's because i don't play be a pro you guys might know that do play be a pro so there's that um 
Oh, more good news. More good news, guys. They fix the issue, right? They fix the e issue in Be a Pro too. They fix the issue in Be a Pro where no captains were being assigned. Can you believe it? In Be a Pro, everybody's sitting here complaining that there's no captains and assistant captains in EA Sports Hockey League. So what do they do? They fix it in the two game modes that ain't EA Sports Hockey League. <sighs> Let me tell you what. I don't know what to say about it. I, I don't know. I got nothing. I got nothing at all. I, I, I don't know. Like I said, I'll put the full patch notes down below for you guys so you guys can check them out. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.